Hi everybody, this is Lara with a quick update for you with Bitcoin and XRP. Just technicals for Bitcoin, if you want Elliott Wave for Bitcoin you'll find it on our website, there are links in the description box below. And before I get into it, I always forget this, but please hit the like, subscribe button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we're going to be giving you four markets almost every Monday to Friday. I did miss yesterday, that's not normal. But Monday to Friday we'll give you Bitcoin and XRP from me and Ethereum and Solana either from me or from Jack Frost. You're going to be getting our experience and our qualifications for free for these markets. Technicals for Bitcoin, it's still within this rectangle, still moving sideways, resistance 71,500, 73,100, support a rather large zone 60,700 to 58,200. Within this rectangle price is swinging from resistance to support and back again with choppy overlapping movement. Currently, last hit resistance 71,500. Currently, a downward swing towards support is expected. Price is about halfway within the rectangle. There's a fairly decent way to go before it gets down to 60,700. There's a bearish signal from on balance volume. I'm not going to read that as a signal telling us price is going to break out downward from the rectangle because price is such a long way from support. It's only halfway in the rectangle. It's not close to support. Support. When you get those advanced signals from on balance volume, it usually happens just a little bit before price actually breaks out. And this is just too far away. So I expect the bearish signal from on balance volume is telling us price is going to continue down to support 60,700 is quite likely. A little bit of volume pushing price lower for the last session. Overall though, as price continues sideways in the rectangle, volume is declining. That's normal behaviour for a consolidation. This rectangle comes in the context of an upward trend and two thirds of them will break out up, one third will break out downwards. So balance of probability still tells us an upward breakout is more likely. Here's the bearish signal from on balance volume. It broke below very significant support telling us that we should expect more downward movement from price and then when it gets down to support we'll see how price behaves. If it starts to move a little bit lower around support with some strength then yes I I will expect a downward breakout from the rectangle but I want to see how it behaves when it hits support at 60,700 first. ADX is telling us there's a downward swing within the rectangle for the short term a downward trend. Previous downward swing was indicated by ADX. Previous upward swing was indicated by ADX. Right now a downward swing we should expect is likely to continue. Price is moving lower. Stochastics is fully oversold but price has got a little ways to go before it gets to support. It may continue lower towards support while stochastics moves a little bit more deeply into oversold. If they are at support and oversold simultaneously that may be when it, where and when the downward swing ends and again when price gets to support because of that bearish signal from on balance volume I'll be watching it very carefully. This is my main Elliott Wave count for XRP at the weekly time frame. I did go over the big picture on the monthly chart with all of XRP's data and I have a main and an alternate at the monthly time frame. They both expect more upward movement. One of them is extremely bullish, the other one not nearly as bullish though. Within an upward movement, the main Elliott wave count sees a primary degree third wave underway. It may only subdivide as an impulse. That means one has to be a five wave motive structure. This intermediate one may be a leading expanding diagonal. Two has to be a corrective movement. This intermediate two may be a double zigzag. W, X, Y has moved a little bit beyond the end of W, but really not by much. Not a very typical looking double zigzag, but it's the only structure that meets rules and has a reasonable fit. If intermediate 2 is complete there, with an intermediate 3, no second way of correction may move beyond its start below 0.4309. The final target for primary wave 3, I went over this when I did the monthly charts last week for XRP. 28.84 will be reached when primary 3 is 14.72 times the length of primary 1. That is not a Fibonacci ratio, that is the length the primary waves one to three within cycle wave one and it may end November next year if primary three is a Fibonacci three years in duration. Obviously this target expects an upward breakout from the huge sideways consolidation XRP has been in for many years now. The daily time frame, this low here, is this low here. Within intermediate wave three, I'm going to label minor one incomplete. This is too short to be minor wave one, so this may be minute waves one and two. Within minor wave one, minute wave two ended as a zigzag. A, triangle for B, C, I was expecting this downward movement to end at or below, below this low, 0.4788. But to not move below 0.4309, that is exactly what happened uh, over a week ago now. And now price is moving slightly higher, choppy overlapping movement, but an upward bias. Within 
minute wave three, I'll label minuet waves one and two complete. I might want to move the degree of labeling down in coming days or weeks though. I'll keep an eye on that. Either way, if two were to continue lower, it may not move beyond the start of one below 0.4565. Alternatively, both of my weekly charts are identical to this point here and here and here and here but what if intermediate two is incomplete how could it continue lower it could be a triple zigzag the main wave count sees intermediate two complete here as a double zigzag the alternate expects it may continue lower as a triple the reason why this is an alternate is the probability of a triple is quite low because the frequency of triples versus doubles is really low they're not rare structures but they're fairly unusual they are uncommon the purpose of the multiple zigzag the second and the third when there is one is to deepen the correction when the first zigzag doesn't move price deep enough. Why barely achieved its purpose? It has moved beyond the end of W but only just. This wave count would expect Z to move reasonably beyond the end of Y to achieve its purpose of deepening the zigzag. The whole structure for a triple zigzag should have a counter trend movement. The trend here was up this would be a counter trend movement this is a correction this is a motive wave structure when two is complete then a third wave at two degrees would be expected to begin the long term target for primary three is the same for both wave counts technicals on the daily for xrp there was this ascending triangle there was a downward breakout on a downward session with push from volume i calculated the target from the triangle to be 0.4227 i did warn however that that might be too low because support at 0.46 is strong and would need to be overcome before we could have confidence real confidence in this target after the downward breakout, this upward session for yesterday may be a back test of resistance. We might be about to see some more downward movement. Currently, we might need to change this resistance to support at 0.49 if the current session for 19th of June may manages to close above. But so far, there's resistance here about 0.49. Support below is quite strong at 0.46. Resistance above at 54.55 cents is very strong. It, we had a false breakout back here and then price returned quickly back below it. Because of that false breakout, if we see another close above 55 cents, I want to then see it followed through with two or three days away in order to have confidence in an upward breakout. The last completed downward session has some push from volume that suggests we might be about to get more downward movement after a back test of resistance at the lower edge of the ascending triangle trend line. The last signal from on balance volume was bearish we've probably seen the follow through from that there's no new range no new signal from on balance volume ADX is declining telling us there's no clear trend at this time frame for XRP with no clear trend using a model of stochastics plus support and resistance we'd expect overall an upward swing to continue toward resistance probably to break above 55 cents perhaps to reach 60 cents could be choppy and overlapping though and for that price upward movement for price to continue until stochastics reaches overbought or gets somewhat close to it up off the low there is now some increase in ATR as a measure of volatility Volatility. we are starting to see some volatility within this choppy overlapping upward movement after the last low that's bullish for the short term for XRP so quite a mixed bag I'm going to go with the Elliott wave count the main Elliott wave count expects overall more upward movement for XRP for the last short term low to remain intact for some time that's it from me today with your quick update I hope you're all having a lovely day <music>